Hey guys, welcome back and uh, I'm gonna now show you up with uh, how does it work for the hair cards uh, for the row E and row F uh, which pretty much completes the uh, completes the, um, the style that we're going for and completes like not in a complete sense but like that's enough for uh, giving the sense of a hairstyle that we're aiming for here. Like you can see, this is all the uh, hair E for the row E. Uh, the row E, how it works is uh, it's got uh, only like seven of the hair cards, and it's uh, it's uh, it, it's not supposed to be flowing all the way down towards the sides, like you can see on both the sides, left and right. It's only uh, making the play on the upper region, on the top parts. And there are like only seven of those hair clumps, and like uh, there, it varies. Like the for this one, uh, E001, it's got one main hair card and six transitional hair cards. It's pretty much the same for the others as well. Like for f uh, number four, there's a uh, uh, like eight transitional hair cards. And you can see like how the uh, movements are going here, like they are flowing way, much in a more vibrant way. Directions that they're taking, they're like so much flowing away from the middle line. Like you can see in this certain hair clump, that's E E one. It's like crossing all the way through the uh, middle line, and even like climbing up from the E4 I guess climb the E4 is laying uh, right beneath the E1 and it's like staying just right at the top of it like what I want you to see here is uh, the way how these cars are laying on top of each other and how the movement they're flowing like the noise the pattern that they're going and like if we press 5 on the keyboard and see like you can see so many of the uh, fins and the feathering is way much higher now the frequency for the feathering and this pretty much completes the uh, here at the front as well like we can do is we can still do a lot more which we will be uh, we'll be doing by the flyaways and hairline tips and also I have to tell you about the hairline F uh, the hair uh, hair row F but this like if we hide uh, the clumps uh, the hair rows D and it wouldn't look fine uh, like in terms of the personality of the character but like uh, I kind of feel like after we are done with the hair cards E and F, like it kind of completes the character. Like it can work even like without all those other extra hair cards. Like we definitely need the. Uh, it's looking a bit weird without these sideburns. Like you can see this one uh, string hair card that's included. And uh, like going on to the hair cards F, like these are even way more crazier now in terms of stray hair cards. F is uh, kind of the group where we create the stray hair cards now. Like you can see for these one, like these are. Like F5. And F6. You can see like how they are moving away from the main chunks and straying away. Like even on this one. And the way how we uh, set up the cards in this is like just two cards. You can see like uh, they're like staying uh, one after another like this, like X, most of them. And uh, 
it's quite fascinating that it can be seen from all the directions very well like you can see how it's beautifully separating uh, the main chunk if you press 5 and view only F it's gonna give a get better more clear idea for how does it work you can add some more over here but it's only up to you and with E and F only it would look something like this so these uh, row E and F they really add the finishing touches on the hair The main job of these uh, hair cards is just to cover up the hairline and create the breakups like at the back you can see. Now before I had a lot of uh, uniformity on the hair cards uh, at hair card B like you can see here. Now once I've done with all of those upper layer of the hair cards from C, D, E and F it's pretty much covered. And gives this beautiful kind beautiful kind of flow okay so on the next video we'll be going to the sideburns and the flyaways kind of things so thank you